Hello, I'm here to show you how to download and build OFBiz for Linux. So first of all, let's go to the OFBiz main page. So the OFBiz main page is ofbiz.apache.org and here you'll see that there are a couple of places where you can actually download OFBiz. So there's the first is the big download button on the right hand side. The second is the download button in the main menu. Now both of these links take you onto the same page and that page is the download Apache OFBiz page. So um, what we have here is um, we have a list of the stable release at the top and some other previous releases down at the bottom so you can choose which one you want to download. If you're looking to evaluate OFBiz for the first time then the latest stable release is probably the best one for you. On the right hand side we have some details about the minimum requirements that we need for uh, the version that you need to download. So for example at 13.7 you need uh, Java 7 as the minimum. So what we need to do next is just click the download button, it's sort of hidden here, click download and that will take you onto uh, an Apache mirror so based on your location, so just click the uh, link to the zip file to download the zip file and to save it. So click to save it. So here it will give you an estimated time uh, for the download. So I'll just pause meanwhile that downloads. Right, so my download is completed and I've actually moved the zip file onto my desktop just so it's easy to see. So now that you've got the zip file, if you right click and then you extract the information. So what it will do, it will create you a, a directory and in that directory will be all the uh, OFBiz uh, details and code. So the next thing is to move this directory to where you want uh, OFBiz to live uh, and so you can build it. So normally I use the OPT directory so I'm just going to move this into my OPT directory. Right so I've moved uh, this uh, the OFBiz uh, directory into my OPT directory. I've renamed it as well so it's just 1307 but it's the same things that were uh, in the uh, extracted file. So here, so the next thing to do is to open a terminal, so um, like I have here, and navigate to where you have put the, the OFBiz directory. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is to build it. So to build it, we use ant, so we put dot forward slash ant load demo return. And what this does is it will build uh, OFBiz, so OFBiz is built using ANT, and it would also load the demo data that's included as part of OFBiz. And the demo data is quite interesting because it gives you some examples of, uh, of uh, how to use OFBiz, uh, details of uh, people, transactions, accounting, uh, products, etc. So it's quite useful if you're looking to evaluate OFBiz and need some uh, background uh, detail to sort of help you understand it. So we've built OFBiz now, so okay, that's taken, uh, that was quite quick. So now uh, we want to start it. So uh, what we, the next command we use is dot slash ant again, and we start. So ant start. So now that's starting OFBiz, we need to get open a browser. So let's open our Firefox browser here. And OFBiz is run uh, locally, so we want localhost. And we can click here, localhost slash accounting slash control.main. And the uh, default uh, ID that's loaded as part of the demo data is admin. And the password is OFBiz, OFBIZ, all in lowercase. So now we are in OFBiz. And you can see the different uh, applications, manufacturing, etc orders, party. Um, as part of the demo data, we said that we loaded the demo data so let me just show you uh, a bit of the demo data. So if you go into party and find you'll see uh, a lot of different uh, 
uh, uh, records have been created, for example, em employees, suppliers, uh, blog uh, users, etc., that have been created as part of the demo data so that you could uh, demonstrate how to use the system at various places. So that's the uh, that's OFBiz. I'm just going to log out because I want to show you how to uh, stop uh, OFBiz. So now we've actually started it. We've got a terminal here. Now we want to stop it. So if you want to stop it, we're just going to open a new terminal. We're going to navigate over to uh, where OFBiz is sitting in uh, OFBiz 13.7. So in the same place that we've launched uh, Ant here. So then we type Ant stop. And you'll see that the other terminal that had opened that was running OFBiz is now stopped. Another way to uh, stop OFBiz is actually in here as well with a control C, but it's much uh, uh, tidier to uh, just stop it with uh, another terminal, which is what I've done there. So there we are. So we've now we've downloaded and built OFBiz, we've set it running uh, and we've stopped it. So that's it.